So I literally just got up here in perfect time. Wow, London, you are incredible. It's looking pretty red over there, but hopefully it isn't red later. Yes, guys, welcome back to the George Benson Football Channel. Welcome to a Chelsea versus Arsenal match vlog. Not the usual energy. Been having a bit of a crappy start to the year, to be honest. Chelsea's result of the weekend wasn't ideal either. My granddad passed away a couple of days ago, which is obviously a horrible thing. I was very close to him. But one of the last things he said to me on Thursday when he dropped me at the train station to come back to London, because I live here. Uh, one of the last things he said to me was, I haven't seen a match video from you for a while. And I thought that today, instead of like not doing a video, we'll go to Chelsea Arsenal, hopefully see the Blues get a win. And we'll do this match vlog dedicated to my granddad, who enjoyed watching them. Didn't even have internet installed in his house, but he, he found a way. London is looking... <laughs> That's real, by the way. Like, the sun is just like... Yeah. So I'm going to head across London. It is pretty much rush hour now. The evenings are starting to drag out a little bit, which is nice. I hate, like, the dark, cold evenings. But it's pretty cold today. But it's uh, it's not dark at nearly five o'clock. So there's football games to be going to. There's London derbies to win. All right, so we've taken a couple of beers in the old cock tavern. Louis here. Yeah, what's up? Big people? man, Benavenzi. James Wilder's here. Chelsea, Chelsea. Foul labour. Chelsea. Lawrence Benson's here. Up for Blues, come it's on. It's been a while, Lawrence. It's How have been you been? A while. Very good, thank you. Happy New Year. Callum hudson Adoy, Tammy Abraham and Willian as the front three. Midfield three of Jorginho, Kante and Kovacic, which I think everyone's kind of been calling for. The kickoff is late. It feels weird to be going to a game and it's already like five to eight and we're still not even there. But we've been screwing up results, we've been screwing up performances and so have other teams and we don't want to be that team that gets in the top four just because other teams around us are bad. We need to start making statements. Yeah, score, score prediction. I'm going to go 5 4 Chelsea. Tuesday night at 8 15. Whose idea was this? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh my god. Start to the game, to be fair. Oh. 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 Spicy game. Da David Luiz is already annoying me. It's going to be a red card in this. Ten minutes gone, nil nil. It's a good game, though. It's a very good game. We're not looking bad. We're defending well. I say that now, and oh, Arsenal only attack. Oh! There's no one can cross the ball apart from Reese James. Boom! Oh! 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 red card and a penalty! David Luiz being sent off at Stamford Bridge. I think it was. Well, you don't think it was a stone, stone cold pen. the game to life. Chelsea won Arsenal nil. Jorginho with another perfect penalty in the bottom corner. Leno went the right way. Couldn't save it. David Luiz has been sent off. You can't write a script for this. David Luiz, he's one of our own. He's one of our own. Pie is actually pretty good. Fair what play. did you order? Fair play. I ordered a steak and cheese. No, steak and ale pie. Steak Shot. and ale. Um, good first half. Good first half. Ozil. I can't. First time I've seen Ozil in the flesh. I cannot believe how poor he is. I used yeah. to think in 2010, I used to think he's the best player in the world. In the best player in the world. In 2010 World Cup, he was phenomenal. If you ever saw him then, fantastic. Now he's lazy, not tracking back. Poor. Poor. I agree. Oh. Go on, Tommy! Up. 
N'Golo Kante slips. That's an awful slip. Uncharacteristic of N'Golo Kante. Arsenal have equalised against the run of play. Ten men at Stamford Bridge. It's Chelsea 1, Arsenal 1. Kepa doesn't save it. We could all sit here and talk about that if we wanted to. Ten men Arsenal against the Chelsea team that should be burying two or three against them, but we haven't. What they're going to do? This is this is exactly what we need to see now. Turn up and flipping score another goal. Win this game of football against ten flipping men. David Luiz, our ex-player, has been sent off. If we can't beat this lot at our own home ground. Jorginho. Hudson and Doyle is doing all the right things. He's taking the players on, but no one's doing anything in the middle. Come oh. on! Go! Oh. 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 What's oh. fuck, we had a. I thought you were supposed to be trying to get top four. Captain does. He turns up when you need him most. As for Laqueta, he's done it in the Champions League. Arsenal at home in the Premier League. Doesn't get any bigger than this for Chelsea. We've got to win this game. Oh! Oh! No way. guys it's the following morning Chelsea 2 Arsenal 2 in some ways it kind of feels a bit like a loss because I don't feel as though Arsenal were the better team they definitely their fans walked out of that stadium last night thinking that they robbed us of all three points they were celebrating as if it was a win because that's kind of the nature of the performance they went behind twice came back twice with 10 men for the majority of well all of the action in terms of where the goals were Chelsea were, yet again, extremely wasteful going forward. I think that there were times that hudson Odoi shot when he should have crossed and vice versa. I thought Willian's end product was nowhere near good enough again. I thought towards the end, Tammy was unlucky with the injury. Batshuayi came on and just offered nothing. It was, again, I've said about like blunt flipping pencils a million times on this channel. Chelsea are a blunt team going forward at times. There's, there's a real lack of final quality. There's all of the build-up is quite nice and we can get into the right positions, but when we actually have to do something with it to win football matches, we cannot do it. Defensively, we can see two shots. They score two goals. Kepa doesn't save any of them. Again, not just Kepa. We had the Kante slip. There is, you know, there's so many lapses in concentration that at the moment from either be it the centre-backs or Kante slip, whatever, like it's, it's not good enough. Chelsea... We couldn't take corners properly in the first place, we all knew that, but now we're conceding goals from our own corners, which is even more of an issue of not being able to score from them when we have them. So don't feel as though that was a 2-2 draw point at home in a London derby could be worse. No, I don't think it could, to be honest. I think that was shocking, really, considering the circumstances of 10 men. Chelsea 2, Arsenal 2. This has been a hard video to make. I just couldn't put myself towards doing an outro. Uh, when I got home last night, because, again, just... I, yeah, things are just happening. GBFC, as for what to expect from me. Yeah, I'm going to try and post videos as much as I can. Uh, this one's just been on my phone. I've not got any of my camera stuff with me here back in the, back in the family home. So just uh, be patient. I will be around... Uh, soon as possible. Thank you for watching this one. Subscribe if you haven't already to the George Benson Football Channel. Right now, it might not be the best place to be, but it will be in time, I promise you. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.